All right, so my most recent project has been uh, this old rough cut barn beam. You can see I'm, I'm working on getting this cleaned up to be kind of a shelf mantle type deal. You can see it's got some striations in there from where the sawmill cut it originally. And it's got some notches and, and different, uh, let's see where's the big crack, there's a nice big, yeah there's a nice big crack along the beam right there, it looks real good. Um, I put about two coats of boiled linseed seed oil on it, let it dry most of the way. Uh, well I guess I should start, I, I took a hand wire brush and wire brushed it. Not too heavy, you don't want to use a angle grinder. But I uh, just took a lot of the dirt and loose looseness off of it and kind of cleaned up the pores. And then I blew it off with an air wand. And then I came in with uh, a paintbrush and boiled linseed oil. And just applied approximately two coats to it. Filled in any spots that I thought were a little, a little light. And it seems to be doing alright. It was kind of fuzzy uh, from the uh, wire brush going over it. But the... The final thing I did was put a semi-gloss clear coat on it, and uh, that seems to have corrected it. So, but yeah, I think it's got a lot of character to it. I think two coats of boiled linseed oil turned out really good on it. I do like this kind of old beat-up end here. I'll probably clear coat that some more. It looks like it soaked it up pretty good. Um... But yeah, for the most part, this thing is looking pretty darn cool. It's not too heavy. Uh, it was fairly dry. Don't feel like I had a lot of weight with it, but uh, yeah. Well, uh, the next step is to get uh, some uh, strap steel mounting brackets uh, bent up and a patina look to it to go with these so we can mount it to the wall. But uh, first things first, I wasn't able to paint the bottom all the way. So we're going to flip this over. So you can kind of see there's a bit of a fuzz on there, and I can feel it too. But uh, that clear coat seems to fix it. There's a little bit of orange paint there that'll probably disappear hopefully soon too. But we'll get this clear coated. I'll get everything else kind of done over, and then uh, we'll move on to bending the uh, straps for it. So here we go. And then we'll come over here. So I've got flat strap steel. And I'm thinking, so this is going to be, it's probably quarter inch, I believe. Uh, but alone, it's going to be too weak. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to bend one curve here. And then I'll bend it again here. And then I'll have it come basically at a Z at the wall. And I'll put a 45 re reinforcing bit that comes in here. And we'll just space it along here, uh, we'll have two of these at least, and space it along there to where our studs are, and then we'll screw it in. So, the first step, we'll get our measurements off of this, and then we'll get the torch out and start heating it up. And then we'll work on putting a, a patina on it. So, what I like to do for the patina, and I'll show you here. I was thinking about using this railroad spike on there and this was all rusty and more pitted than it is now. What I did was I wire wheeled it down and then my trick is this uh, Schaefer's Molly roller chain lube gives a really nice metallic finish to it. You basically just get yourself a paper towel, spray this down with a uh, Molly or the paper towel with Molly and then just, just start rubbing it, rubbing it in um, and eventually most of the molly will come off and whatever doesn't stays on it and just gives it it gives it a temporary protective coat um, but it just gives it a really nice uh, kind of a gray blue look to it and then you can clear coat it so that's what my hope is going to be for this after I get done working on it we'll get it uh, hit down with the molly and then paint her up
All right, now we got kind of a rounded edge on there. Kind of a blacksmithy look to it, I hope. Got some rounded edges there, so not gonna catch super bad. Kind of a, and I think, I might grab the cutting torch, heat it up, just go over these, let them cool down, rub them down with some of that chain lube, and we'll see what happens here. I still need drill mounting holes, but it won't look too bad in the future. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do about screws to hold those on there. But uh, we'll cross that path when we get to it.